Tell me, tell me what part of the world we're in. Oh, you mean, it, well, we're in Petrolia, California. Three miles from the Cape Mendocino, which is the second most western point of the continental United States. Fifteen miles from the meeting of three plates of the Earth's plates. So we are in a subduc subduction zone, 15 miles away, which, as you know, caused a 9.0 earthquake off the northeast coast of Japan the other day. And we're waiting, not with any eagerness, for exactly the same thing to happen here. So while we're filming, an enormous tsunami could come up the river, which we've just been walking along, perhaps, as far as here, and that would be your final shot would be a roaring tsunami racing towards our humble barbecue. Does that tell you where we are? It does. What's, what's the most western point in the continental US? You can win bets on this, because when you look at the map of the continental United States, because it's axed more north-south than it should be, as opposed to north by northwest at the top, it looks as though Cape Mendocino is the westernmost point, and you just casually suggest that people might want to wager on this matter. And then you will win because the westernmost point of the continental United States is Cape Flattery in the state of Washington. And then you just pocket the money and off you go. The other one you can tell people that they'll never believe is that Reno is west of Los Angeles. <laughs> Reno is west of Los Angeles. That's complete lie. Every that's word true. Of it. Absolutely. It's deceiving once again. The Italians are all the same. All right. Let's bet on it. <laughs> And then uh, that's where we are. And what's the plan for today? What are you cooking? The plan is to take the albacore, which has been defrosting here. The albacore is our particularly delicious um, species of tuna, normally which vanishes into eight trillion cans of canned albacore. It, it's caught out here? It is caught by our fishermen, but some of this I think we're going to do on the later in the film, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. I'm just getting oh, yeah. some preliminary stuff. Um, here is the albacore, which has been defrosting. But I don't want to waste all my wisdom. Yeah, okay, now. don't. Let's wait. I mean, it's it's going to start here. No, it's so been defrosting here. here. The best thing is to always defrost to freeze an albacore whole. But as I say, I want to say this on the movie. Yeah. I mean, that when she's coming. And there it is, ready to be disemboweled. Yeah. Well, I'm glad That's a, like a 20 pound albacore. How long ago was it caught? Last fall. Last fall? Last fall. And if you, re if you freeze it whole, in its skin, in a, if you've got a lucky to have a a chest freezer, you don't even need to wrap it, except you just wrap it in a garbage bag because the skin acts as the insulation. Wow. And it'll keep up to very nicely for a year. But if you cut it up, no matter how well you package it and freeze pack it, it'll taste funky after a while. But this will taste as good as if it was just caught yesterday or no? Sushi. Sushi quality. Really? Sashimi of the purest, delicious quality. And here we have some salmon, which we're going to make smoked salmon with. And you salt it for about four hours. And, and then this is cold smoked salmon, which you have to coat, you have to smoke with smoke under 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Above 80 degrees, you cook it, and it becomes kippered salmon, which is what people sell here, and people buy, thinking they're going to get Scotch smoked salmon, but they're not. But the trick is to keep... Is smoke, all smoked salmon can be referred to as lox? No, lox is a particular kind of smoked salmon from Newton, from Canada. It's pure smoked salmon, which is actually really Pacific salmon. This is a coho salmon, otherwise known as a silver which comes from the Indian Reservation up in Washington, where I go every year. I punned yesterday on Twitter, Twitter I said, to stop people stealing my bagels, I always put locks on them. <laughs> Very good. And then you do that for about four hours. 
and then that, that imparts the curative salt. Actually, what we should do is cut the back. Um, to let the salt in. And that's the coho. And then after four hours we'll wash the salt off and we'll put it in a very slow um, smoker which I have. And you have to keep the temperature below 80. Which remember your blood heat is 98.4 roughly. So you have to really have cold smoke. But I have a device. Let's get in here. 